Okay, now I want to introduce this Tish Pendant. Uh, this is a touch screen. So when you're operating the Tish Pendant, you can use your finger or there has a pen on the back. So in this robot, there has a manual mode and a auto mode. To switch these two modes, is turn this key. And if you want to use in the manual mode, we select T1. If you like to, the auto mode is auto. So in our case, I, I want to show how to operate the robot by the teach pendant. So I will select the manual mode. And uh, after you press this one, just switch back. Okay, now we are in the manual mode. There are lots of buttons here. This two blue button is forward and backward, which means in your program, if you want to run, run the next program, and you can click this one. And if you want to backward, you press this one. And this is the gripper. This two can control the robot gripper on and off. And this six button plus and minus is for control the robot. You will learn something in the class that we can control the robot in joint mode or in the world mode. So now you see, if you press here, you can select some mode. If we select the joint mode, which means from A to A1 to A6 is a six joint. Each one can control each joint. If we select back to the world mode, so the first three will ch change to X, Y, Z, and the last three will change to A, B, C. Here is the speed. If we, you press here, in the manual mode, we put the speed around 10%. And in the auto mode, we also push, switch to the speed to maybe 15%. The KUKA robot is a very fast robot. We have to limit the speed. Okay, now let's operate in the robot. So as I said, first things is to hold on the Deadman switch. If I hold here, you can see if I hold on the working position, and the motor will turn on and the green letter is show up. So now our in the joint mode. So from one to six, I can control six joint. If I press the plus one, so you can see only the first joint is moving. If I Press the second one. Only the second one is moving. And the third one, the third joint is moving. And the fourth one is moving. And the fifth one. And then I press here and select the world mode. Now I can control the robot in the world mode. It's X, Y, Z mode. X, Y, Z. You see, if I press X, the gripper will go to X direction. And meanwhile, the other six joint is moving together. And Y direction. And Z direction is up and down. I do this, I hold this statement switch all the time. If I release this one, I cannot control the robot. So re remember to click on the working mode. And this is a gripper. The gripper is here.
The gripper is controlled by air. So I just close gripper, open gripper, close gripper, open close, go back, close. And another special button for the KUKA robot is the mouse, the 360 mouse. We can control the robot using this mouse. Here, we, when we select the world mode, if I push the mouse to the right, and the robot will go right. If I push down, and the robot will go down. If I pull up, the rope will go up. And backward and forward. Yeah, this is a very special. I like this button very much. Every robot, they have their own home position. For KUKA robot, we have a running program called home to let the robot go to home position. So in the program, we select a program called home. Home. And then we, we select the select. So in the home position program, they have a one command to save the a position for the home. We have to run this program and let the robot go back to home. We hold the dead man switch and then press the play button. Okay, now the robot is back to home.